Well, you guys got another video here for you on how to stop files from automatically uploading and syncing to your OneDrive account. Now, if you've turned on your computer, you can see here that we do have this syncing signal right here where it's uploading to OneDrive. You may also see a cloud icon, which means that it's already uploaded those files from that folder. Now, the important bit of information I can tell you here is that once you stop a backup from your folders, such as desktop, videos, music, documents, and pictures, OneDrive will delete or move these files that are already backed up from your PC to OneDrive online and OneDrive folder in your PC. So you should copy all of these files to somewhere else on your PC once you stop the OneDrive sync or backup and copy these files back to those locations once you've uh, stopped an uninstalled uh, OneDrive. Otherwise, you run the risk of losing that data. Now, you can see here we've got some cloud icons here where it's already started uploading these files to OneDrive, and this is where you're going to need to uh, be able to stop it. I'll show you how to do it here. So down on the bottom right-hand side, you should see a little cloud icon with a little circle around it with some arrows and you can see the network activity on there so right click on your taskbar here and open up task manager and go to network and you will see network activity happening on your computer this is because it's already started the up uploading process and synchronizing all your data to onedrive and this will continue to happen so if you want to stop it this is what you're going to need to do. Make sure, like I said to you, move all that data to one folder first and then go down to the little cloud icon here. And once you're inside here, you want to go to the little cog here, which is your settings area, and go into the pause syncing. So on here, click on the pause syncing. And if you want to pause your syncing, you can pause it by two hours, eight hours, or 24 hours. Remember, using this method is only going to temporarily uh, pause the actual synchronization and backup of all your data uh, to OneDrive. So if you do want to stop it completely, then that method is not for you. The other way is to click on the cloud icon, go back into the settings uh, cog here, the actual cog up the top, and go down to where it says pause syncing and open this up and you will see quit OneDrive right here. Now, if you quit OneDrive, what this is going to do is going to directly stop OneDrive from syncing, and it will also uh, quit OneDrive altogether when you close it. So it's not going to run any tasks. They will all be stopped. So that's if you want to use the quit area. Now, the next up, what you can do is if you want another option is go down to where the cloud is again, click on this and go back into the uh, cog here, and go into settings here inside the settings panel you're going to see there's some areas here that we can uh, customize inside here there is an area called account click on the account tab and what we're going to be looking for is unlink this pc so once you're inside here you'll see a little area saying unlink this pc this is going to cut off the connection between this pc that you're using and onedrive it's also a one way to halt OneDrive altogether and stop it syncing to your PC because you're going to unlink it from OneDrive to your computer. So if you want to do that, click on that right there. So next, if we go to our settings panel inside Windows, you'll see that we have account connected to Microsoft. This means we're not running a local account on this computer. We are actually running a Microsoft account, which is connected to Microsoft. And this is where Microsoft will be able to connect to your computer and OneDrive will be able to function and work properly the way it's meant to be. But if you don't use this feature, then you don't need to be connected to Microsoft and you can use a local account. So you can see here the cloud storage is listed right here. So I've blurred out the top part here. This will be your name and your account details right here. If we go into the account settings here, you can see Microsoft account. And this is exactly what Microsoft want. They want you to be connected to uh, them by a Microsoft account. And you can stop this by clicking on this. I'll show you this at the end of the video. And this will put you straight into a local account mode. Next, have a look in the uh, OneDrive settings app again. And you can see save photos and videos from devices. And this is going to save all your photos, videos to OneDrive, uh, which is a, a cloud account on Microsoft's servers. 
So you definitely don't want to be doing that if you don't want to use a Microsoft account because all your personal photos and documents are going to be uploaded to Microsoft account and they are going to be unencrypted. Next, we can go into the manage your OneDrive and here is where you need to turn off and toggle off these settings right here. Now, remember what I told you at the beginning about backing up your data first or moving it to another location before you turn this off because it's going to remove those files. And if you do that, you'll end up losing them. So just make sure that you turn these off. You can see they're already uh, starting to synchronize and connect and upload all the data to my uh, OneDrive account. And turning this off will stop the synchronization and stop it from working. It's that simple. So this is another way of going about doing it. This is a more thorough way of stopping you from synchronizing all of your data to uh, OneDrive. If we go back into here right now and click View Online tab down the bottom, you'll see all of your files stored online on the cloud uh, inside uh, the Microsoft servers. You can see all of the data that started to be uploaded and synced to your OneDrive account. If you don't want it up there and you want to get rid of it, then you need to check mark all of this stuff like so, and you can delete it from your uh, Microsoft OneDrive account. Everyone gets a free five uh, gigabytes of storage for free. You can see it down the bottom there. And uh, once you remove all this stuff, you'll claim back your five gigabytes. Now, of course, if you do use OneDrive and you're happy to synchronize all your data, to the cloud on Microsoft servers, then by all means, this video is not for you. But if you're one of these people that uh, don't want uh, some documents and personal stuff up there, then you can choose what you want to synchronize to your Microsoft uh, OneDrive account rather than just synchronizing everything and letting it uh, copy all your data up. So let's go ahead here now. I've removed all of these and it's important that you also delete them uh, from the recycle bin. And I'll quickly do that after I just close this box off here. So this is to verify your personal vault here. So we've already uh, deleted these files, but they are still in the recycle bin right here. And we need to empty the recycle bin to fully remove them from their servers. So let me just go ahead here and select all. And we can now click on delete. If you need to restore them at any point, you could have restored them right there. But we're just going to delete them. Okay. So now they're all gone from the Microsoft server. And now we can uh, deal with uh, turning off uh, OneDrive altogether if you want to. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to go into Control Panel and I'm going to uninstall uh, Microsoft OneDrive. If you use OneDrive, by all means, don't uninstall it. Leave it on your PC. That goes without saying. But some people don't want it. And some people have not realized that they've signed into a Microsoft account. And now they're uploading and synchronizing stuff to uh, the Microsoft OneDrive. So let's go ahead and quickly uninstall this here now. And that should now be gone. And we can unpin that from our taskbar there. And another thing you can do here is use a local account. And I mentioned that earlier on. Microsoft love you to set up a Microsoft account during the installation process of Windows 11. And they sort of want to force you to install uh, Windows 11 with a Microsoft account and if you don't want that then you'll need to remove that by clicking on this part here where it says stop uh, signing in with your Microsoft account automatically which will put you back into a local account and sign you out of the Microsoft account so you're not actually always connected to the Microsoft servers. Anyway, I hope this has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.